<laughs> yeah. <It's laughs> All right. Back again. This is, I don't even know what to call these shows, but um, these last two of the year. Fuck it. I don't know. This is Quick Sixers, me, basically. Um, uh, 21 year, 20, 2021 year in beer in review. Uh, it's your first time checking out a channel. Hi. Um, go ahead and hit all the subscribes, all of those things that you like, notifications, whatever. Ooh. If you're on the YouTube page watching this shit, then uh, on the top right, you can go to our store. You can go to our Facebook page, join that shit if you want to. Um, Instagram, all that stuff. <clears throat> so we appreciate it. And introducing everybody. It's your boy, Pat Ars, Brittany Fernandez, Brittany Met Spooky, and your boy, Adam Knitch. And go and check out their shows while they're there. Um, also, check out Brittany's YouTube channel, Brittany Met Spooky. It's linked in the YouTube channel. So just go down or scroll it. You know what I'm saying? Now you see her face. <clears throat> so, guys, I brought you together, assembled the fucking crew, the collective for our year 2021 year in beer in review this is an annual thing since last year because it's hilarious and basically it is uh my untapped year in beer it says and <laughs> it is <laughs> it is something else i'll tell you what so <laughs> all right um i think i want to do a few things but like all right, I'm gonna ask you. I'm gonna ask you guys questions, and then we'll go through each each category. Okay. All right. All right. Um. After well, let me let me check these notes just to make sure I didn't mess check it. Uh, fuck up anything real quick. Uh. No. 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 Hmm. Hmm. Oh yeah. Um. <clears throat> Before we go into this, B, I want to I want to hear about this hop on hop off beer bus you're talking about oh, i had the screenshot open so <clears throat> i went to tenfold mm, mm, nope i'll get them confused tenfold and what's the other one in east in east oh god the one across the street from uh smith and lentz no hold on i'm dyslexic it <laughs> It's tenfold. a problem. <laughs> it's not tenfold. It's um tailgate. Tailgate. Jesus, I can't with the T's. Yeah, uh, yeah. So I went to tailgate because <laughs> uh, they had a Thanksgiving pizza, and I was like, "Well, I have to try that. That sounds delicious." And I've always liked tailgate's beer. Their pumpkin slice go. is really good. Um, and then I saw this flyer for a um, beer bus, which was like a. Um, choose your own brewery adventure is what it said um it's called like music city uh music city brew hop and oh my you God. just take a trolley and go around to all the different like different breweries you want to go to and what? stop and drink beer and then get back on and go to the next one so we have to do that could be a dangerous game i mean it's <laughs> <is> awesome <laughs> i'm in so it says hop on, hop off trolley tour, convenient one hour loop, unlimited rides on day of tickets, stops at craft breweries, safe, responsible, and fun. I don't yeah. know about the one hour loop. That seems a little bit like it's quick. Yeah. Yeah. So I guess it's like you just grab a beer at the brewery, you drink it on the way to the next one. Seems like that's kind of how that would work. Okay. 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 Nice. But sounds like a great time. No oh, hell yeah. yeah. When, when is this thing? I might have to come up there. You just, whenever you, yeah, whenever <laughs> you want, you just book it on the musiccitybrewhop.com. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Wow. Sounds like a plan. I think uh, I need to make a collective uh, tour. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's a field trip. <clears throat> field trip. <laughs> <laughs> it's an adult <laughs> field trip. I haven't been to Nashville in a while, but they've always had a good uh, local uh, craft beer scene, it seems like. Yeah, it seems like it's from what you're from what y'all are telling me. It seems like it's taken off even more in the last just, like ten just years. Blowing up, just There's fucking so blowing up. Yeah, and all of them are getting multiple tap rooms now. It's it's kind of crazy. Yeah, that's nuts. Yeah, and they're all fun. 
you know, they're all pretty, pretty cool people from what I've met. Yeah. Uh, that sounds awesome. B. We need to do that. <clears throat> but are you guys ready for my questions ready. and or trivias? Um, okay. Okay. So how, all right. So and this is all based on my untapped uh, profile, right? Uh, which you can go check out if you want to. And it kind of links to our Twitter and Instagram and stuff. But how many beers do you think I checked in this year? Not necessarily drank, just checked in. 84. Hmm. Adam, what's your guess? (laughs) Well, you said 84? (laughs) Yeah, I don't know. That seems like a big number. (laughs) Uh, I'm going to say, oh, man. Like, let me just, I was about to go, I crunch some numbers real quick because I could uh, <laughs> probably get close. <laughs> I'm going to say, oh man, I'm going to say, I'm going to say 250. Mm, mm, mm. You guys ready for a reveal? <clears throat> All right. So last year in 2020, I checked in 359 beers. <laughs> I know I went too low, too low. <laughs> yeah, this year, this, this year was a little bit more. Oh, shit. <laughs> this year was 467 check ins. But what's the difference? You said, oh, so you check them in, but you don't have to necessarily review them. Like, oh, I had this Correct. one, but you're not, you don't leave a review. Okay, gotcha. Correct. So 467 <clears throat> check ins. My first check in of the year was Ever Clever Double Dry Hop IPA from. Beard iris, obviously. Okay. <clears throat> um, I'm not get, so it says my top beer of the year. I'm not even gonna guess you guys guess was Stella, but it's just because of the rating. I wouldn't say that's my top beer. Um my top four, it says, were Cronenberg 1664 Blanc, Frozen on Frozen, Bearded Iris, Mesmerizer, Bearded Iris, and Dak Boom Boom from American Solera. Which that shit was fire. It's like pineapples and stuff. It's it's a crazy. It's one of the weirdest beers I've had this oh, year. Yeah. It's really weird. I like it though. Um, did you guys? You guys didn't get to try any of these this year, did you? I feel like I had the Cronenberg for the first time this year because of you, you. did. You did. Yeah. You did. Nice. That was amazing. Yeah, I haven't tried any of those. <laughs> <laughs> the rest of them, no, I did not try. <laughs> okay, Adam, I'm gonna have to send you one, bro. Yeah, for real. Yeah. Isn't there a blue Cronenberg or am I? That's the blue one. Making yeah. that up. Yeah. Okay. That's the blue. Well, it's a bottle. The bottle the green. Blue. Yeah. The, the green one is the normal Cronenberg, right? Mm-hmm. Okay. <clears throat> Which there's a place be in on St. Patrick's Day in Nashville that serves Cronenberg as green? their St. Patrick's Day beer. Oh, nice. Oh, Not the Blanc, but the regular. So for our St. Patrick's Day episode, we'll have to do that. Yes. And it's a pretty good pub, so it's pretty cool. Um, okay, <clears throat> so um, out of 225 styles of beer, how many do you think I tried this year? And before you answer, we're gonna go. Uh, we're gonna go to Adam for our pick of the beer. One, two, or three? You already know what three is. Two. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> He didn't even pick mine. Well, I put time. well, I put one in the <laughs> I put one back. Like so, it's one is in its spots. Do you do you still pick two? Yeah, I still pick two. Okay. I mean, it's like we don't know what they are. So. <laughs> you don't know what this is. <laughs> so you don't know what this one is actually. Um, Moon biscuits, amber ale. My God, look at that can from Wiseacre, oh, nice. the twenty twenties edition. What Memphis beer? Yes, this is a Memphis beer. Amriel coming in at a 5.2. This uh coolest can art of the year is is yeah. contender. Yeah, that's yeah, that's their dope. artwork's gotten better and better over the years. <clears throat> mm-hmm. Um glad you picked that one actually. It's um funny. It, uh, is that like a you said that's like a new beer from this year or something? Oh, uh, it's a 2020 edition, so I guess they put it oh, out okay. every year. But it's good. I think I had it. Uh, drink a lot of them this year. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
All right. So you guys answer why I pour it. This is the color. It's kind of like it's. Oh my it says, God. It's beautiful. Yeah. It says amber ale and it's. I take my hand off of it. It's pretty it's amber. So pretty. Yeah, yeah. But it has like a red. T- well, I don't know if that's just your lighting, well, but it has I like a know. red undertone. I'm trying to get like a good light. Oh, there, there you go. It's pretty. Looks like grape juice. Yeah. Tastes a little different than grape juice, though. Um, <laughs> <laughs> out of 225 styles of beer which did you guys know there's 225 styles that's crazy no like i that, need to so. do my research mm. <laughs> i didn't know either but that's what it says but um how many do you think i tried so you tried 400 beers right it's <sighs> true that is fact i'm gonna say all of them then <laughs> Right? That's, that's not fair. <laughs> okay, so say 75. I'll say 120. <laughs> oh, man, Adam, you were pretty close. 65. 65 okay. was the count. <clears throat> My top beer style in 2021 was IPA, New England, and hazy versions. Okay. Yeah, I can see that for you. <clears throat> um, the top three styles of beer on and tapped in 2021 were ipas stouts and sours so that checks out i think there was a lot of fucking stouts that came out this year a lot of and a lot of sours yeah Yeah, a lot of sours (laughs) okay so out of those 467 check-ins how many breweries do you think I drank from? One. <laughs> Beer did Irish. Um, uh, oh, oh, here's a, here's a fun fact. The top five, my top five breweries this year were all in Tennessee. Are all located here. I'm going to say t- 18. Breweries, forty-two, <laughs> <laughs> thirty-five. All right, all right. I'm gonna give you guys one more get. You guys gotta get closer. <laughs> Thirty-one. Sixty-seven. Higher. Uh, one hundred and two. <laughs> That's pretty close. One hundred and two is close. 100, okay. One hundred and seven. <laughs> Damn. So close. 109. 109 different breweries. I started out saying, what, like 30 something? I think that's pretty good. What blew me away about this uh, particular report was it says I had 41 unique beers from Bearded Iris, which was my top brewery of the year Um, by not even close. I like didn't that. even know they had 41 different beers. I was going to say That's, they came out that many beers. Like, yeah, I guess so. Same. Wow. They come, they come out with a few a month, so it kind of makes sense to me, I okay. think. That's yeah. why you're like, I need this one, I need this one, I need this one. <laughs> yeah. Or maybe that is how many beers I checked in specifically from them. That could be it, too. I don't know how they rank this. But here's the fun part. On, e- on average, each person on Untap checked in beers made by 21 different breweries this year. <laughs> <laughs> they, dude, save some beer for the rest of us. Holy crap. <laughs> How am I 400% over average? <laughs> That's what I was going to ask, too. It's like you do a crazy job of like, like obviously going to different places and finding beer, too, to find that many different breweries. Appreciate it. So like I said here, it's like, you know, I go to only a couple of places and it's always the same stuff, you know, same it's stuff, pretty yeah. like regional. Yeah. Yeah. Shout out, shout out to, uh, Mount Julia beer company. They're, they're keeping me stocked on, uh, all the new shit, all the, all the random shit. Also a uh, fun note about them. Uh, if they have, when you walk in, uh, you can pull, you can pull a single from anything in the store. So That's you don't really have cool. to, yeah, so you don't That's have cool. to commit yeah. to buying anything. That's really cool. Mm-hmm. Which I do not commit to buying a six pack ever there. <laughs> so. You know how much beer I have in my fridge that's like three or like 
five of something that I didn't. I was like, I just want to try this one. And then I just never went back to it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. There's right. my fridge is just beer. It's, and there's like Love that. coffee creamer beer. That's it. <laughs> I accidentally have a case of beer in my closet right now. Um, accidentally. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I acquired some, some shit and uh, <laughs> it just hasn't gone away. Um, I have to do better. I'll do better in 2022 <laughs> of liquidating my stock. I was going to say, I need to get an untapped. I don't know what the fuck I'm doing with my life. I don't know. Either, right? I don't like I, yeah, I have it, but I always forget to use it. Yeah, that's so, how I feel about like Letterboxd. Have you ever used Letterboxd with movies? Mm -hmm. It's like untapped, but movies. Oh, I need and to like, do that then. Yeah, the beginning of the year, I was like, yeah, I'm going strong with my letter box and like logging all of them and like you can review them and yeah. like make playlists and stuff. Mm -hmm. That's cool. Mid like yeah. middle of the year I fell off on it, but <laughs> um so this is kind of interesting to me. Um I've only checked in beers. When you check in something, you can check it in at a place. And I've only checked into 11 venues out of all those beers. Well, it is a pandemic. Yeah. Yeah. I know, but I just thought it was, it's pretty interesting, I think. Out of also, 400 something, yeah. Yeah. Also, they give you this, they, they have like a badge system, which I don't pay attention to. Apparently, there's like some nerds online that really are into this <laughs> shit, but like, yeah. I'm not into it. But I got 365 badges. If anybody gives a fuck, I don't care. But um, <clears throat> all right, for the total amount of beers tried to this point, this is as of recording 12, 16, 21. Uh, in total, I have tried 714 different beers. Oh, yeah. And made 1,220 check ins. In so we're going to get to 1,000. Hmm? You're going to get to 1,000 next year. Oh, of individual beers? Mm hmm Hopefully. Yeah, yeah. That's what yeah. I'm trying. Well, if you know if you're doing like what you did this year, you're gonna get to a thousand probably. Well, you know, I'll be four hundred pounds too. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> but uh start calling you the goat, the greatest <laughs> Oh man. <laughs> drinker of all time. The boat. Mm -hmm. God. Oh fuck. That's fucked up. <laughs> Um. <laughs> um. Okay. So I guess the last. I mean, one of the last things I wanted to do <clears throat> is. Uh, are there any beers that like stood out or you were like impressed by this year? Either of you. Let's start with you first, Adam. Any beers, beers you had there? You're like, yeah. That you were just like, man, this shit is fucking good. I'm gonna buy this again. Because a lot of beers I don't buy again. Um. <clears throat> I don't know if I had one that really stood out. I'm trying to think, like there, man, there probably is, but I don't know. Like here, like you're like like in 2020, I don't know, and even 2019, there was a big boom of like all the local breweries here, like making different stuff. Like special release is kind of how Bearded Iris does, but then in 2020, it kept going. But in 2021, it kind of fell off, and they just kind of stuck to what you know their bread and butter, I guess. So I don't mm -hmm. know. I haven't really had anything like too crazy, but. Uh, Gnarly barley juicifer is still getting it. <laughs> juicer. That juicifer is a fire, bro. Yeah. Plus, it's always so hot. I mean, it's, you know, hot most of the year here. You know, pr pretty warm. It's like a good, you know, juicy IPA is always good. Yeah. yeah. Hmm. What about you, B? I tried the Eagle Brewing Banana Bread Beer. Mm. Ooh, that sounds um, good. It's so good. And that was one that I would, like, definitely go back, like, keep like a stock in my fridge like i like trying different things but like you said like i don't, sometimes i don't go back to buy them you know most of the time but that's one that i would yeah. i would keep on hand it's really good mm -hmm. yeah i think that's what kind of i think that's may have what hooked me with um beer and irises stuff is like i liked the home style so much i was like man i'm gonna buy this every time i see it so I might as well try their other stuff to make sure I'm not messing like missing out. Yeah. Do they only make like a uh, small batch 
though, and like four packs. Uh, is that their that's their style? Uh, well, they make four packs. Yeah, that's the four packs are their thing. They only make like tall cans. They don't make twelve ounce shit. Yeah, that um, makes six packs. Is what I'm asking, like, no, no six packs. Um, but you can buy like you can buy like their home style in like Target here. Oh okay. yeah, that's right. Yeah, like it's like a, it's not a small smallish company anymore they have two tap rooms across yeah yeah the city and they're you know it's, it's kind of interesting because there's there's a couple of breweries here that do that uh one's called well it's in bat rouge but it's called uh rally cap and they're mm-hmm. like considered a small batch it's like four packs of like you know just most of the time it's like double ipas and you know just hazy ipas yeah i don't know i guess we'd have to ask them but uh, i don't know if a small batch is the really the word like Maybe some yeah, of their that's stuff. What, that's what I'm saying. Like small batch is always to me always. I think of like whiskey. You know, when I yeah. talk about small batch. <laughs> yeah, maybe not for them. Maybe for some of their stuff. Like I know they do. Well, most of the beers that probably those 41 check-ins were. Um, yeah. Like you know seasonal releases or something. Yeah. So, yeah. But why you didn't want to miss like this, out. Yeah, I don't yeah. miss out. I really don't. Yeah. <laughs> Well, I'm saying it's small, like small batches because they say it's small batch, but then it's like here it's sold everywhere too. You know, it's sold like mm-hmm. grocery stores. You can find it like pretty much, you know, anywhere. Yeah. Um, actually, this year they did uh, a couple of beers that I went and did. I got I went to a beer release, like for you know how they do in like sneaker app and shit. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> like I, been, I went to one of those. those. I've been a couple of those. Yeah. Those are, <laughs> it's fun. No, um, not at all. Uh, it was mainly just you order it and then they, it it, it, yeah, you show up and this was like yeah. still pretty high uh, COVID times. So it was like kind of gotcha. sketchy. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I did that a couple of times. Yeah. <clears throat> but yeah, that was cool. It was with like Creature Comforts and a whole bunch of other companies they did a collab with. Um, so that was pretty rad. All right. So, um, man. What was the B? What was the one? The one you said? The, the Eagle Brewing Banana Bread beer. Banana bread. Okay. Oh yeah, and you got to fi- you got to finally try um, Southern Grist this year. I did. I yeah. did. I actually have a few beers in my fridge I haven't gotten to yet, but they have put out the weirdest shit, and mm-hmm. <laughs> I feel like I'm never like on top of my game where I'll be out of town or they'll they'll release something like super crazy like today was i sent you this one it was the had pine needle tips in it or something yeah. that was southern grist right they're yeah. doing some weird shit so they really are i need Just, to need to be on top of that one i don't know like somebody like you're sitting you know you're sitting out a fucking beer that tastes like a christmas tree i don't that's a little too seasonal you know what i'm saying like I'm, i feel like if they <laughs> yeah. were not if they were not the tall boys if they were like just regular hands on yeah. i could take more of it mm-hmm. but i guess i could just go to the brewery and be like hey can i try this and they give me a sample oh, yeah that's yeah. true and then just buy something other i know it was good there you go <laughs> um <clears throat> a thing you know a thing speaking of um holidays a thing i really noticed a lot this year was um beer advent calendars i don't know about you guys yeah I did yeah, not I've been, notice I've been that. in general, dude. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I saw like a tea one the other day, but I haven't seen beer. That I must not be following the right people. Mm. There's, a, there's like a wine one at Costco. Uh, is there? I could get yeah. into that. <laughs> Meg needs one of those. Oh my God. <laughs> um, yeah, man. There's a, there's a fucking, um, yeah, beer, a, a bunch of beer ones. They're really expensive. They're like well yeah. over a hundred dollars. Yeah, that wine, that wine one's like one hundred and fifty. So, oh wow, mm-hmm. they're like you know small little bottles. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I saw a liquor one like the other day. I was like, that makes sense. My God, you yeah. know, you could like put one of those together whatever. though. Yeah, like the little yeah with the little guys. Yeah, yeah, that's actually a good idea for a gift. Yeah. Yeah. You know that shit would be more expensive than you think. You know those little airplane yeah. bottles are like three dollars. So like you yeah. buy twenty four of them, twenty five of them, it's gonna be a good amount, yeah. <laughs> but tasty amount. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> the 
they're all just fireball. You open it and it's just, you think it's going to be a variety, but it's 12 fireball bottles. Oh my God. <laughs> God. <laughs> what if, what if you did it with just, with just smearing off ices and you ice somebody every day of December? <laughs> That's what I was going to say. I got a wrap yeah. gift. I got a wrap gift one time from somebody and it was like, just like a hodgepodge of crap. And it was like, one of the things was like a deep eddies, like uh vodka thing. Yeah. But it was like, I forgot. It was like flavored, some kind of weird flavor. And I was like, what the hell is this? I do not like deep eddies. <laughs> no. I do not like that at all. Yeah, that does not no. taste good. No. Love it. It's really Love it. <clears throat> so, um, okay. Um, oh, man. I'm trying to think of other things about this year. That would have just been weird. Uh, I did not think, all right, it's going into this count thing the other day, or I guess I looked at it really today. I did not think I tried that many beers. It is, this has got to be some like crazy count. You know what I'm saying? Like I checked in 467, but I'm positive I checked in <laughs> doubles. Like I'm positive about that. So what's the average check in? Oh, God. Uh, Does it have the on there? Uh, my, dog, my dog was just yelling at me, too. Yeah, mine's freaking out, too. Yeah, I opened the door and she just stared at me, and then I was like, You're doing boring stuff, and walked away. <laughs> Chelsea, Chelsea just oh. got home, too. <laughs> oh. I was freaking out. I love it. Okay, okay. Um, I'm looking at yeah, this. Chill, chill, there's, yeah. a, there's a like a year in beer review. So there's been 126 million check-ins this year, uh, which is about 24 Olympic-sized swimming pools. <laughs> wow, that's all. That's it a lot of liquid. There's no. Yeah. There's nothing else. That's the only only stat they give. Okay, I was wondering if they had like an average per user. They but... did last year, um, and I was in. It was ridiculous. It, it was for real. Like, I remember telling Drew, and he was like, "What the fuck?" Like, the average check-in was like <laughs> double double digits. I think like seventy, <laughs> and I was like, you know, three hundred or some shit. That just means you're consistent. There you go. Yeah, I know. You know, I'll leave them on the counter and just check them in all at once, though. Like. Like, oh, I did this and this and this today. Okay. Uh-huh. Oh, man. What? Well, um, well, my goal is to sign up for Untapped. There you go. That's I'll download your... it right now. There you go. Look, just just doing the fucking New Year's resolution right away. Look at yep. her. She's just a boss. Just a boss. Um. <clears throat> I am. I'm curious. I, I wish we could do this all together, like all three. Well, even Drew, if he did it. But um, if we did it, if we like compared them all, it'd be kind of kind of fucked up. Yeah. I think. Well, that's why I'm like, well, I want to get on this next year. Yeah, definitely. I'm do I'm doing my stack. I have it downloaded. I just I do it every once in a while. Yeah, more so, like, it's... I always like find myself like looking up something on the app. Yeah. Well, that's what I usually do. Is some some beers, you know, it's like hella hard to find, especially with like European stuff. If you find anything that's like not from the US, then it's hard to find like the ABV on it or stuff like that. And or in like <clears throat> if I'm at a restaurant and I see some shit that I've never tried or I think I've never tried it, you can look it up and see if you've tried it before. Like I'll be like, oh, yeah, true. That's nice because I definitely forget about it a lot. Stuff. Yeah, which is which kind of fucked most menus for me because there's not that many beers on menus that I haven't tried. Yeah. So I usually resort to some kind of whiskey drink if we're at a restaurant. Mm-mm-mm. Well, kids. Um I mean, what else, I mean, anything else you guys want to want to talk about in this year in beer and review? Think so, I mean, what's so. A, what do y'all think is going to be the next trend? Like, what do you think is going to be? Oh, good question. That's a good, good question. question. Hmm. I mean, sours and seltzers are all the rage. They got CBD beer now. You yeah, have to, a lot of non-alcoholic 
non alcohol yeah. beer. Mm. I don't know. Mm. I hope they do like Does dessert beer. This beer tastes like yeah. a cake. <laughs> yeah. What like do you a, think, Adam? Well, there's a brewery here that's like, I mean, that's a lot like last year, but the canned cocktails, but there's a brewery here that's oh, like yeah. actually starting to make canned cocktails. Like, a, yeah. it's like a whole thing, you know? Yeah. So. There, we You can get them at the liquor store. Here. <clears throat> All right. I'm just going to do this last beer because fuck it. That was a 12 ounce, so. Um. Adam's favorite. <laughs> Different take. This is a double <laughs> double IPA um, from Beard Iris. 7.5. Um, or or actually, you know, fuck it, Adam. I'm gonna do I'm gonna do the mango one because that one's good. The mango one though. That mango though. Mango meltdown. I don't think I've tried that. Uh, you might not have. It's pretty new. Uh, it's a fruited double IPA, eight point Very good. I will try this. This will be my last beer for now. For now. <laughs> Until right after this episode. <laughs> Dude, it's it's hell. I know I've I said this on um dropping the needle, but this this beer yeah. is, smells like a goddamn fruit orchard or some shit. <laughs> It's, it's like crazy, up, like mango juice or something. Yeah. Hey, look at that bee. This look at that. That looks like a sunny D. Yeah, <laughs> kind of tastes like it too. <laughs> I keep like trying shit. to add my That's untapped insane. username, and it says that it's invalid. I don't understand. I'll just fuck with that later. Okay, you'll forget immediately. It takes um, me to remind me. <laughs> um okay um i think so back we did um just to review some of the sponsors and shit we did this year which is kind of crazy i mean to think about we did we did quite a few sponsors this year just in general but starting out the year i'm gonna go back all the way january um when did we actually fucking start? Oh my god. When did we start this fucking thing? Oh shit. All right. July 21st. So Oh wow. July 21st, 2020 is when we restarted Quick Sixer. That but, makes sense. You're like it's a pandemic. There's nothing to do. Let's drink beer and talk to my friends. Exactly. So, <laughs> fuck. Where'd it go? Okay. Yeah, that that makes sense to me. Um. Okay. So, in 2021, we started off the year with um, Humble Sea Brewing Company, and then we went and did uh, uh, a few episodes with Carl Strauss. Uh, Chandelier Island Brewing Company. Uh, here we go. Indie Brewing Company out of LA. Uh, Bearded Iris, of course, when in March. We did that one for Women's History Month. <clears throat> and then we kind of... Oh, yeah. Carl Strauss again. We did a couple of Carl Strauss this year, which is pretty cool. Humble Sea Brewing Company, which congrats to them if they're listening. They just got um, a honorable mention as being one of the top breweries from Untapped this year. Um, oh, that's, that's very that's cool. cool. Very dope. Very dope people. They opened their second tap room. Uh, it's like, I guess, 30 minutes from San Francisco now or something like that. So shout out to them. Uh, they're amazing. But also, really good beer. Really, really fucking good beer. Um, and then tried them. <clears throat> uh, it's weird. Yeah, I don't think you can get them here, which is mm. kind of nuts. But then um, we did one more sponsorship, and that was with Sierra Nevada, which was kind of like a big deal for us in August. And then yeah, that's a big deal for me. <laughs> yeah. 
Uh, that was a big deal. I was going to say, when you asked me about like what brand, I was like, oh, I think you've already had them. <laughs> oh, is it Sierra Nevada? <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. They, they're awesome. like, That's like the first like craft brewery I think I ever tried. Like, was yeah. always obsessed. Yeah, they're, they're in, we tried they're one of their, um, what was the one? It was chocolate and pretzel. Was that Ooh. Sierra Nevada when we were at the event? Oh, yeah. Maybe not. Maybe oh, it might have might have been. Was it might have been? I think it might be lying. I don't know. Whatever Sierra Nevada had at the winter warmer was really good. Yeah. Nice. So we should talk about this. So to cap off this year, um, Brittany was kind enough to join me at the winter warmer, which is an event put on by ML Rose or was hosted by ML Rose, not put on them. Um, <clears throat> it's put on by. A different company, I can't remember, but anyway. Rhizome Productions. Yeah, yeah, uh, them. So it's put on by them, and uh, it's basically stouts, porters, and imperial stuff, like dark beer, basically. And it was happened to be on my birthday this year. And shout out to Meg, she convinced me to go, which was dope. And then Brittany joined us, which was awesome. And man. Oh, we didn't get to talk about this yet, so I'm pretty excited. We tried, Brittany, I, I would say guesstimate 20 something, maybe 30 beers. I was going to say like maybe 18 or something like that, but yeah, that makes sense <laughs> for me anyway. I th- But I think I tried like 10 before you got there. Yeah, I think I tried like 18 different ones, mm. which is crazy to think about. Yeah. In like a six ounce glass or whatever. Yeah. It's pretty crazy. Uh, yeah. And they were filling that said, shit. You said, you said they were just like stouts and like darker mm-hmm. beers, like winter yeah. style beers. Which are usually not my thing like at all, yeah. but it was, yeah. I mean, there were some good, there were some hidden gems in there. Yeah. Not my thing either, but <clears throat> I was pretty pumped about uh, some of this stuff we tried. A lot of this stuff, not so much. A lot of it was not for me. Yeah, yeah me either. I imagine. What were uh, the? Uh, what was like really? What was one that was good and one that, that was bad? Oh, there was one. There was more than one that me and Brittany poured out. Yeah, it was bad. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> With a lot, of, like probably like one of each of those breweries, I was like, this is not good. Turpin. Yeah. Turpin. Turpin. Terrapin. Brewery? Terrapin. 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 <laughs> yeah. I like they make some really good IPAs, but yeah, Terrapin. I don't, I don't have a- <laughs> Terrapin. <laughs> with the turtle. Their stuff was delicious. Turtle. They had um I love turtles. <laughs> <laughs> they had chocolate that you could try with uh oh, yeah. their beers. I that think was that cool. was the chocolate pretzel beer. That I had I to be confused. it. You know, that was that was it. So yeah. Terrapin, yeah, yeah. So the the chocolate that they used in the beer. They brought the vendor for the chocolate there, and like they had little bits yeah. you could pick up with like a, oh, wow. um, a thing, and then like you put it, you eat it as you drink it, and it was like this is this is fucking amazing. You know? It was um uh, the chocolate company is a Nashville company too, okay. so that was kind of cool. Oh, wow, that's very cool. Yeah, cool. Terrapin, amazing, amazing company yeah, out sweet. of Georgia. Um, Opsecutor, great, <sighs> so good, so heavy though um speaking of heavy most of these beers were pretty fucking gnarly heavy um, and i did i didn't eat beforehand <laughs> oh no yeah you gotta yeah. eat like a lot with those uh stouts <laughs> yeah 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 uh i ate a lot before we went <laughs> yeah and not uh, not be lactose intolerant either <laughs> there you go yeah the lactose is heavy um <clears throat> speaking of actually we got a sponsor out of that uh us going there which is kind of cool oh nice um randomly they came up to us which was dope um oh, that's cool yeah so check out watch out for them on in january but um not gonna spoil anything but yeah i don't know like b that was that was kind of a cool way to top off the year i think yeah uh, we're gonna do more of that hell yeah and i mean i'm definitely down to do i was telling adam uh off air not that long ago that we need if they do like an IPA one or like like some kind of shit that we're more into we should definitely go you know yeah 
We'll have to follow that company, Rhizome Productions or something. Mm-hmm. See what see what else they got going on. Hell yeah. Um, yeah, it was a fun time. I'm really glad you got to go. Um, me and Meg were having fun, but she doesn't drink, so or doesn't drink beer. So it was like she was like, All right, well, I don't know how long I can fucking do this, <laughs> yeah. you know. Which makes sense. I, I mean, that's how I would be too. Yeah. <clears throat> also, it's kind of sketch. Like thinking back to it, pretty sketch, honestly. Um, just there were just people just taking your little cup and like filling it, like bare hands, you know, like filling it with their shit, and then you had to be vaccinated. You had to be vaccinated and whatnot. But yeah. I was still it was like, outside. Yeah, but still, I was like, I don't, I don't know about all this. Yeah, you boosted that, right? <laughs> I'm boosted. Actually, that's that's why Drew couldn't join us for any of these uh, final episodes. He got boosted yesterday. Oh, you uh, feeling well. it? Yeah, I was telling. Uh, I think I told both of you after I got boosted. It that fucked me up. Yeah, yeah I haven't gotten mine yet. It's got a couple of weeks, but pretty gnar. It, it'll it'll come after you. Come for the throat. <laughs> Um, yeah, more of that <clears throat> next year. I know it's weird with all these other variants, but I think it would be. I think we could make it work. Do it yeah. safely. Yeah, yeah, I think so. I think um, I didn't tell you guys my uh, what was it dream brewery or guest. So on our last thing, yeah. so I figured I'd, I'd maybe drop it on this one. Um, now I think I think about it. Uh, after looking at like reviewing what we did in one year which is kind of kind of nuts um i think i you know i try to get him i've been trying to get him but since pandemic it's been really hard because they've been doing like uh basically life support for their community and whatnot <clears throat> randomly like give them water and whatnot out but i think it would be really cool if we got Loganitas to come back and do yeah. an episode with us they did the original Quick Sixer show and sent us a ton of beer, and it was amazing. And it took forever to drink it all, which was awesome. <laughs> uh, so, in theory... You got a ticket for it, right? <laughs> I did. I did. A very expensive <laughs> ticket. Uh, but, you know, very happy moment in life, uh, even though I got that ticket. Meg wasn't too happy, but I was happy about it. Sure. Uh, Yeah, it's a five hundred dollar ticket for running for running a red light. Oops. Uh, Yeah. Anyway, grinning ear to ear, got the camera picture of it. It's it's amazing. Um, But yeah, yeah, Lagunitas. That would be cool. I think another one would be uh, another cool one would be Brooklyn Brewing House, their brewing company. Um, they're, they probably got, I feel like, well, I'm not like a big nerd about it, but they seem to have one of the, like the most famous head brewers ever, um, which is pretty cool. I'm going to go try to check them out when I'm in New York for in, in January or late December or whatever, um, over New Year's <clears throat> and third, I think I would go with. We got to get somebody out of North Carolina. Just somebody. Yeah. And I like, you know, you know what I'm saying? Blues. Oh, Oscar Blues would be a good one. Yeah. Fuck it. Yeah. Yeah. yeah why not? Yeah. That would be cool. Yeah. That could be cool. I'll, I'll go check them out. But, anyways, you guys got anything else to say before we close out this year? Year in beer in review? <laughs> I just, so. thanks for having me. And- bringing me on and drinking beer with me and doing reviews super fun thank you so I'm much for doing the review. Doing it. <laughs> Hell yeah <laughs> gonna continue drinking beer with my friends it's gonna be dope <laughs> mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. and now i'm Same like I'm, I'm on untapped so i'm all this like I'm very fancy. excited about it <laughs> there's all this like a new brewery opening up in nashville every day so and i'm gonna make That's it a cool. mission <laughs> Oh Lord, she's on a mission. I'm on a mission. What about you, Adam? Um, yeah, same. Just grateful, you know. 
blessed. <laughs> blessed. Hashtag blessed. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's been it's been fun, dude. It's been fun starting our uh, dropping the needle podcast. It's been fun mm-hmm. having someone talk about music other than you know Chelsea. Mm-hmm. <laughs> sure, he's psyched. Uh, yeah, you know, <clears throat> I think it's been a great year. <clears throat> Doing both the shows with you guys is amazing. I'm glad you guys came on um, because fucking Drew had to step away for some stuff. So I was like, oh, man, I can't do this alone. Hope the homies yeah. come through. And you guys did, obviously. But um, I appreciate it a lot. Yeah. And this shit is going to get crazy. Uh, <laughs> I'm, ex- I'm excited. I'm stoked. I think I think now that we have we have a basis of what the 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 months kind of look at like they look like um we can start and i mean you guys have all of all of the info all of the logins all of this stuff i um, know all, all of the this, information all of it um <laughs> i think including like the brewery spreadsheet i think i've sent you guys that um yeah. if i haven't then let me know but i think i have but <clears throat> that so pick one on there if we haven't talked to them in a while and uh yeah we can we can reach out but yeah it's been fun i think it's you know all in all fuck 2021 it's been the same as 2020 basically but basically but we're that's the thing it's like we have yeah. you pick this back up because like it's something that you were passionate about and you had like the downtime in 2020 to be like okay what do I want to do like you had mm. time to do to think about it without all like the, you know I know you're still working but without all the extra shit you were like fuck I missed this so let me go back to doing this um mm-hmm. you mm-hmm. know that's that's the kind of cool thing about it but now that we're hopefully getting back on track with COVID and everything and whatever we can do like in-person events and hang out mm-hmm. but even then it's like it's <clears throat> And, you know, it's a reason to stay in touch, too. That's true. That's true. You know, like. Definitely. Yeah. That's yeah. how I think of it. I'm like, I'm definitely going to drink beer with Pat and <laughs> tell him what I think about it. Like, why wouldn't I? Yeah. yeah. Play, you know, play his games. <laughs> play <my> yeah. games. <laughs> I'm going to have games next year. Just watch. <laughs> better. Better. Uh, yeah. Oh, this is kind of cool, B. Um, speaking of just like rolling with it and, and, and like everything happening cohesively or whatever, like naturally. Um, I don't know if you noticed, but when we posted episode six of the review, December's issue, um, it was, I was on hook point brewing company. Is that a Collierville, which Adam fucking Collierville has a brewery now. No, yeah, that's crazy. It has like two actually. I, I saw one. The, the other one day. I didn't like. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, that one. Um, so it is uh, <laughs> on Instagram. You're allowed to invite a collaborator, and uh, I normally do it for for everybody, but especially like when we're doing uh, our like episodes our and stuff. Yeah. yeah, yeah. But I invited Hook Point just out of the blue, and they accepted. So they so <laughs> put a review of me saying that it's bad on their Instagram. <laughs> No. <laughs> yeah, I thought it was funny. I was like, "All right, well, I guess you didn't listen to it." <laughs> they didn't watch it. Oh no! But I think it's dope. I think you know. All in all, Oops. all the stuff. Uh, I think you guys are doing a great job. Everything keeps growing. Uh, there's a, there, I've ch- definitely checked some stats and like some analytics and uh, everything's been numbers. yeah checking them numbers crunching them and everything's been growing I mean maybe it's because I spam a lot of podcast <laughs> Facebook groups but um, <laughs> but yeah it's pretty dope um, and I'm proud of what we're doing I think it's dope oh yeah it's a good time yeah, yeah. I don't know I get to get faded with you guys it's, it's cool Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> uh, man, you know what? Yeah. I really want somebody to make like a really good, just like nine percent IPA, like hazy IPA, like one that I'm like, 
that's all year. I feel like they're all like mm-hmm. they always change. The ones I find that are really, really good, like that one, that one I posted, or, or the one that's one of my top five for the year, Frozen on Frozen. I could have drank that shit every day. Like I had to literally yeah. save one. I was like, I want, don't want to drink that one next week. Have you, uh, do y'all have, have you ever seen Orpheus Brewing Company? Yeah, yeah. I, it's Orpheus Brewing. I think we, they make a tin, they I make a that? tin double IPA and a six pack. Oh, damn. A six pack? Yeah. 10%. In like oh. a little 12 ounce can. <laughs> really? Yeah. That's a finisher right there. Jesus Christ. I know. That sounds That's aggressive, <laughs> dude. Like, ten, six. I've only got it once and it was like, yeah, it was, I had it for like a little while. <laughs> More feel, yeah, yeah. That makes sense good, to but... me. I remember. We did an episode with um, maybe it was I know it was with Chase, but I don't know if we did an episode about it. Um, shout out Chase Porter, but we did we went somewhere and Chase was like, yo, we should get this beer. And it was um, Theolonius Monk and it was like their seasonal thing or whatever. Or maybe it wasn't seasonal. Maybe it was just year round. But that shit, I don't know if you guys have ever had that, but that shit is heavy, like mm-hmm. dark and it's heavy. And he Where was like, oh, from? yeah, um, I'll show you real quick. <clears throat> B is it's like, dude, it's just gnar- it's a gnarly beer. You can't just like chill on it. Well, you, I guess that's all yeah. you can do is you chill on it. But there's no other choice. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. Brother Thelonious. That's what it is brother Thelonious North Coast Brewing <laughs> Company uh, it's a 9.4 damn damn um, here, this is what it looks like this is what it looks like uh, I don't know if I can get I mean, if I get closer looks like a, a beer to me <laughs> All right, can you see it better there it's dark as hell <laughs> yeah very dark yeah it's dark yeah but you can get it in bottles um and it is it's got crazy ratings on <clears throat> untapped but yeah north coast brewing company brother thelonious you can buy it in pretty much any liquor store it's a 9.4 it is it says it's a belgian strong dark ale oh that just sounds like an entire meal yeah. uh, no well it's not you, you all right so if you drink it it's not like it doesn't feel like like a big ass like Guinness or something. It's not like oh, okay. you know yeah. something like it's that. It's kind of like it's like this uh, uh, celebrator. Pro- okay. Yes, it's like probably. dark. It's dark, but it still feels like light. Yes, so almost like a dark lager. Like a buck, yeah. Yeah, yeah. There you go. That's what oh. this is. Is a double buck. Ooh. Oh. Uh-huh. But yeah, go check that out. That's a recommendation. Um. But anyways. I think we should close this out. Yeah, I'm going to make some spaghetti. There you go. This Ooh, has been nice. fun. Thanks. <laughs> Thank you guys for joining me for this year in celebration yeah. of, our, of our year in beer. And uh, I'm, I'm excited for you guys to have comparisons for next year. That'll be fun. Oh, I'm so stoked now. Yeah. <laughs> now that there's like statistics. And oh, there's, there's stats. I have to there's, race you. There's stats. There's fucking, you can find beers. Um, find nearest place or whatever they're at. It's gonna be dangerous. It's gonna be dangerous for me because I'm like you. Like I have, if there's something I see, I'm like, fuck, I have to have that. I have to try it. Yeah, yeah. Your wallet's gonna hurt. Your wallet's gonna hurt. Yeah, it's pretty bad. Gotta stop myself sometimes. Um, but anyways, appreciate you guys coming in doing this. Um, this has been. I don't even know what this show is gonna be, but this is a quick six of collective show. So. It's been your boy. It's been your girl. It's been your boy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Bye. Bye. <laughs>